We are back at the pond and the water is still green. The solar powered aerator has been hooked up for about 10 weeks and it's still fighting with this green water. I really want to find some fish here to make sure they're still in this pond and healthy before winter frees up. We have a really nice October day, like super warm and I want to catch some fish in this pond. I have not seen any fish in a couple months since this pond went green. Um, kind of got a bad feeling about that. Uh, last fall and then the fall previous, when you get a warm sunny day like this, I could always see like 10 to 15 sunfish up top under the surface, like just maybe six inches under the water. And this year I really haven't seen anything. The water definitely has that cloudy green algae or whatever we're dealing with here. Uh, it has me a little bit worried. I see a lot of minnows everywhere. There's minnows all over the place. So I've been throwing a lure here, um, you know, multiple lures from all sides of the pond for the last 15, 20 minutes. Haven't seen a fish, haven't touched a fish, haven't got a bite. Last year, as soon as I'd cast in, we could kind of get a fish on the line. I didn't have very many minnows last year either though. So I think that's one of the, one of the positives and negatives. I have so many minnows in here. I don't think the fish are that hungry because they're eating well and comfortably where in the past I just didn't have enough minnows per fish so now I'm desperate I'm going to tie on a hook and put a worm on uh, I'm gonna get two rods going here one with a bobber and one with just a hook and a worm I haven't done that since I was probably eight years old so this is complete desperation time the last couple of years the water was so clear I could always see fish um, this year I just haven't been able to see anything so I don't think they're all dead that's a bit of a reach I think I would have seen dead fish floating around here but uh, and also the minnows I thought would have died first and the minnows are definitely doing well you can see them all over the place so let's we'll see what this does I have way too small of a hook on here but I figured I'd just cover my full spectrum of fish in here and at least see if there's any small ones if I catch a big one I'm gonna have to be careful that it doesn't go too deep down the throat I don't want to harm anything not a good sign that bobber's been out there for a couple minutes and nothing's touched it this is not good. I've taken three or four casts with the worm on the sinker and this bobber has been out there for over five minutes and I've never had a bobber and a worm sit out there that long with the kids out here and not get caught. So we'll move down to the other end and see if we can catch a fish here. This is a little bit surprising. Okay, this is a bit troubling and uh, quite a bit shocking. <laughs> I didn't expect to turn the camera on and do that. I figured we'd have a whole bunch of fish. Um, I can't do any underwater video because the water's too cloudy. So I said, well, I'll just go and catch a few fish, see what we have in here in the fall before everything freezes up. But that did not work. Um, I don't know. I don't think we're at the point where I need to make that. I may have killed all my fish video. Uh, it is cold water, like quite cold. I think we'll have to just say to be continued. I'm going to come out maybe this evening if I have time with the kids. Um, if not, later on here before it gets too, too cold. Uh, we got to catch a fish here. This is, I don't want to go through the winter wondering if there's any fish in this pond. There should be hundreds of sunfish, to be honest. I, I think I have over a hundred easily uh, of adults. So that's, uh, that's a little strange. Day two of fishing like a child here with a worm and a bobber. And I've still not caught any fish. So as every minute and every cast goes by, um, I'm kind of getting a little nervous. I started out with this video the other day thinking, okay, well, it's cold water. It's hard to catch fish sometimes. We'll, we'll make it hard to catch fish. And all of a sudden we'll find what bait they're biting on and where they are. And we'll catch a bunch for the camera and, you know, show some fish off. But... I don't know. I've really actually been trying hard to catch fish and it's embarrassing for two reasons. Uh, one, I can't catch fish with, you know, children's equipment here that should work every time. But also it's embarrassing because I might have killed all my fish. Um, making these videos, you know, you kind of do things that look like they work and it looks like you know what you're doing. But I don't know. Did that solar panel with the aerator mixed something and I killed my fish. I've certainly read about that in the past where you can with adding aeration kill fish. 
Was it the runoff? Was it something else? I don't want to go there yet, but as every <laughs> as every uh, few minutes goes by here, and I don't catch any fish, I'm actually starting to think about that. Do I have any fish left? Uh, the one thing is the water is very cold, and I know cold water fishing. I've done it in the river actually just a couple weeks ago. I struggled. I couldn't find the bass. Couldn't find anything. Um, are their lips clamped shut? I don't know. I, I, with a worm and a hook, I don't think it can pass that up if you bounce one off their head. But um, oh, something just touched my bobber. That was actually a good pull. That was the first thing that I've seen. I've been fishing for like an hour here in the last two days. Something is on that bobber. Okay. It's not huge, but there's something alive in there. That actually turned out really well. I look like I know what I'm doing here again. Oh, here we go. More embarrassment. I didn't land that fish. <laughs> I don't know. It's got to be small, but it's, it's sad, but I actually have hope that there's one thing alive in this pond. So... Uh, that's kind of where we've got to. It's been a bit of a downward spiral this year. Night shift. Nothing again. No bites or anything. Um, I guess this one's going to go to to be continued. Uh, there, there's got to be fish still in here. I can see a fish. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> I can see a fish swimming. So we have one fish. There's a lot more minnows up top too. You can see them popping on the surface. Uh, more active, quicker moving, and, and definitely a lot more of them. There's a whole bunch of minnows up top. Something just jumped there. A little bit more life today. Maybe a bit more hope. I'm sure everybody sees these leaves and they're like, yeah, yeah, that's why your pond's murky because all that organic matter drops to the bottom and then breaks down and creates algae or however it works. But I should get a big cleaner out somehow and get rid of all the debris in the fall, but I probably won't. So we definitely have one fish. I did have that one bite on the bobber yesterday. Um, so we might have a couple fish in there, but um, tomorrow's warm too. We've had like three really nice warm days in a row. So maybe I'll come back out tomorrow with the fishing rod and see if... Uh, this water's warmed up to get them maybe a little bit more active, but really love to catch that smallmouth bass. Um, mainly just to prove that it's still in here, um, but I like to get a size on it before winter comes in. Another day and another opportunity to embarrass myself. Uh, I've got three rods this time, so we're throwing everything at it. I've got a little rapala on here. I've caught the smallmouth bass in here before with that. Just kind of looks like a minnow. Uh, I've got the worm, my 18 large worms, and... Uh, the bobber or a float or whatever you call it wherever you are in the world um, we'll just do the simple worm and bobber again I did see a sunfish uh, earlier today kind of hiding under one of these leaves a few inches under the water so um, there's definitely one fish in here there should be a couple hundred so the quest continues we'll see what we can get this time and we'll continue to fish until I either give up or finally catch some significant fish I can actually see fish over there. There's two fish. So we know that there's two fish in this pond. We're up to two. Um, they're really shallow. They're moving super slow. So I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shorten everything up. And uh, I don't know, maybe they just won't bite on anything. The water's so cold, but there's two fish in here. I'd love to see that big bass. I had the bobber go down again. I missed it. Didn't have the camera on. I'm trying to save battery, figuring I'd be here forever. I've had a couple bites on just the worm on bottom, so everything is really slow. So I think it's just the cold water, I maybe underestimated that. Had a bite here in the Christmas tree, had a bite out further, so there's a few bites, seen some fish. Beginning to feel a little bit better that I still have all my fish. Just uh, not moving things too quick and, and not taking that cold water into account I think is maybe my biggest problem here. Well, I put about 45 minutes in and nothing again. I'll continue to try and grab something and uh, hope this water clears. And I, uh, every year I've caught that smallmouth bass, except for this year, and I should have really started earlier, um, but I didn't. So really wanted to get that, get a measurement on that smallmouth bass, see what it did for growth this year with so many minnows in there. Um, probably pretty big if it's still in there, which I think it is, but who knows? 
So it's a big difference 24 hours makes. We were fishing in a t-shirt yesterday. Uh, there was a big north wind came through last night, dropped the temperature almost 20 degrees. Uh, one good thing with the wind, it blew, well, not great, it blew all the junk, all the leaves into the pond, but it did push them all to the south end. Um, I have a cold, I don't feel like doing this, I don't want to be here, but uh, it gives me a good chance to get this junk out of the pond before it sinks to the bottom, and then everybody would be like, well, why didn't you take it out of your pond, it's going to turn to muck, and off gas and steal your oxygen as it breaks down and make your water even worse. So I'm going to get it out of here. I don't want to go into this cold pond, but I've got the hip waders, the fishing net, a rake. I don't know how I'm going to get this out of here, but um, I'm going to at least attempt to do this until I don't feel like doing any more. So that looks a lot better. That definitely will warm me up too. So I'll bundle up the leaves into the tractor bucket before they blow back in the pond and uh, the big compost pile over there from the compost videos that we've been doing. Uh, throw them in the compost and uh, should be pretty good. The water did not clear up before ice came, before freeze up, but I'm still going to find some fish here. I'm determined to, so in the next video, I'm going to drop a camera down all over this pond through the ice and hopefully stumble across some fish here. So thanks for watching. We'll find fish here soon, I promise.